I was lost, but these laws helped me find my people. And now we meet up every year for Feast of Tiles. All praise to the Most High. I found a way to dwell with my brothers and my sisters. Glory to you I found what's missing, now I live the scriptures. Used to be in my A. I followed the wind and linked up with my brethren. Forget about the past, follow the cloud that's in front of me and read the blessings. I found a way, I found a way. I found a way, I found a way. Hard commandments, things that God said, this is what you do, this is what you shall not do. You don't steal. I don't disrespect my parents. Okay. Okay. Y'all Haitian? Yeah. Okay. I'll All right. I'm gonna show y'all one. Le Leviticus 11 and 7. Those are good answers, but I'm gonna I'm bring it home for you. I gotta go. I gotta go. Where you going? You got a party to go to? Yes, yeah, my nephew's party. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, we're talking Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Uh -huh. And the swine, the swine, do y'all know what that is? The swine is the pork, the bacon, the griot, right? Mm. For my IET, right? Mm -hmm. Read on. And the swine, mm -hmm. though he divide the hoof mm -hmm. and be cloven footed, huh? yet he cheweth not the cud. He doesn't chew the cud, I mean, he doesn't eat food, regurgitate it, and eat it again. When you learn about cows, sheep, lamb, they have two stomachs. They eat their food, regurgitate it, and eat it again. Read on. He is unclean to you. God said that animal is unclean to you. Read on. Of their flesh shall ye not That's eat. That's a commandment. It says, shall ye not eat. That's a commandment. So, after this, uh, y'all eat grill? No, I definitely eat any pork. Okay, good. What about shrimp? All right, I'll praise it. Okay. All right, I'll praise it. Let's clap it up for the sister. Uh, shoot, uh, shoot. Uh, uh, we gonna do one more for you. We gonna do one more. Give me number fifteen thirty eight. There you go. There you go. How we got? How we got? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> number fifteen thirty eight. We gonna get one more. All right. This is a good one right here. We gonna see. Now, if you learn something that you were supposed to be doing in the Bible, would you change it? Like, let's say. So we know that the love of God is to keep the commandments. If God told you that you should be doing something, you just found out, would you start doing that? Or would you say, ah, I don't know about that one? It takes time. How much time? Three. On the person. I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. what you got. Uh, this is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel. Now, we teach that our people, um, people that come from Haiti, Jamaica, Bahamas, Dominican Republic, these are the children of God. Right? We went into these lands as captives according to the Bible, and we changed our name because we made God very upset with the things we were doing. The reason why, let me ask you this why did we even go into slavery? Do y'all know? We went into slavery because we broke the laws of God. If God loved everybody, why would God push us into slavery like that? In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, it says, If you do not listen and hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, he said, You're going to serve your enemy in a land you never knew. Before Haiti, y'all never knew that land. Y'all was held captive by the British. My people were held captive by the British, right? God said these things will happen because you broke the promise of God. But I'm not going to go. I don't want to get too deep. I know you got to go. Read what you got. No, this is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, and verse 30. Uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel, which we are. Read on. And bid them that they make them fringy, huh? And the borders of their garments. So if you look at all these brothers, right, you'll see something that's on the bottom of our shirts. We call these fringes, right? Read on. God. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Yeah throughout their generation, yeah? and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue goes on the fringe, read on. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, uh -huh. that ye may look upon it uh -huh. and remember all of the commandments of the Lord. So the whole point of even wearing the fringe is that when we look down, right, not only can we identify ourselves as being the children of Israel, but we remember the commandments of God. Right? So when we look at the commandments, the commandments tell us, listen, if we keep the commandments, we will be the greatest people walking the face of the earth. But right now, we're on the bottom. Would you agree with that? As far as nations, right? When you look at black people, where do we sit? We sit on top. No. We know like when you talk about from a spiritual aspect, of course. We got the most sauce, we got the juice, we the smartest people, we the strongest, of course. Got the best looking women, right? Exactly. The reason why this even happened is because we break the commandments of God. We don't keep this. When you turn on, I was just telling the sister that just came by, when you turn on the radio, we're the only people that talk about killing each other and taking each other's lives, which is a big no-no in the Bible. People were put to death for adultery. People used to be put to death for that thing. And nowadays, they talk about it like, well, I take your bride, I take your beat, da-da-da-da, and it is what it is. 
But scriptures say the reason why this even happens is because we break the commandments of God. I gotta get one more scripture for you. I know you gotta go. Hosea 4 and 1. I know, I know, but I gotta I got I gotta seal this. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. And if you got questions, please, this is what we're here for. I want you to ask questions. All right? Because we we study the Bible diligently. The scriptures say we not only study for ourselves, but the people that actually want to learn. What Bible is that for? This is the King James. Let me explain why. Because I know a lot of people are telling you, like, King James, I don't do that. King James is not bad at all. I agree with you. Right. King James is, is the closest so related to the Hebrew. Stuff. I agree with you. Yeah, if you don't, if English is not your first King language, you're going to be hard. I, I have agree. like a simple Bible that I read. Yeah. It's called God's Awakening. God's it, it explains everything. Like, it's really detailed. I, it's it's fine to use that, but I would say this: be very careful because I've come across translations where it's not they actually did, they, saying they, what it's saying. They they water it down. Yeah, no, I, they take course. verses I've out. I read the King yeah. James before yeah. I read that, so I, it's different, but it's more explanatory. Yeah. Right. There's like the ESV. There's the you know, the ESV is a good translation. It's not King James English, but I'd rather because when you go into the studies of it, there's certain translations that are completely off. Like it's just literally rephrasing, and it's not quoting exactly what the what the scrolls actually said so you know it's good to have it but just be careful with it because they may be saying something that's completely you know against what the actual text says you know what i'm saying we would consider ourselves true christians now if you talk about what our our, our heritage is and things like that we would consider ourselves hebrew or god's chosen people israelites the sons of israel what do you what do you it comes from the word Eber. Yeah, Eber. Yeah. Which is like Abraham, like great great yes. grandfather or something Come. like that. But yes, that's where it trickles down from. Hebrew, Israel. Israelite, sons of Israel. Right? So read what you got. Hosea 4 1. Uh, this is the book of Hosea. Hosea 4 1. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear the word of the Lord. Watch this, sis. Read. Ye children of Israel. There it goes again. Talking to the, This whole Bible is written to the children of Israel. Even when Christ, who, when Christ was speaking, he went to the who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. He was never sent to the whole world. That's why when the disciples was asking him, why are you speaking in parables? And you know what he told the disciples? He said, because my word ain't meant for everybody. Everybody ain't meant to go to the kingdom of heaven. That's what the words of, of the Bible say. We can't judge that. We're supposed to teach everybody, but it's up to God ultimately. Right? So read what you got. Come on. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, and verse 1. Yeah. Hear the word of the Lord, mm -hmm. ye children of Israel. Yeah. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. So what is it saying? It's saying God has a problem with the children of Israel, the people who live down here on earth. What does it say, right? Come on. Like, for the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Yeah. Because there is no truth. There's no truth. According to the Bible, I won't get it for sake of time. The truth of the Bible is considered the law, statutes, and commandments. Right? He said there's no truth. Read on. Nor mercy. Nor mer we don't have mercy on each other. I'm not sure if you know about the whole beef going down in Broward in Miami right now with Psycho Bob and Kodak killing each other's family members and moms. Yeah, I was just down there for the video shoot. Somebody died. Uh, where? Uh, Elkhorn Elk 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 Block Flea Market? Okay. Yeah, I know, I know exactly where that is. That's, that's, that's our hometown. Right? Read what you got. Huh. Nor mercy, nor knowledge of God. There's no knowledge of God here. And a lot land. of people, it's easy to say you believe in God, but they worship God with their mouth and not with their actions. Oh. Hold on, let me finish. I got you. I got you. All right, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> By swearing uh -huh. and lying. And lying. And killing. And killing. And stealing. All of these things are present where? In our community. It's not present in, not to say... It's not present in their communities, but not at the rate it is on ours, right? When you talk about Haiti, Haiti's in a downtrodden place right now because of this. Lying, killing, and stealing. Read on. By swearing and lying, and killing and stealing, yeah. and committing adultery, yeah. they break out and blood touches they, blood. They break out and blood touches blood. So, so what does that mean, sister? Right? Sis, what does that mean? She, she out of here. She out of here. Read it again. Read it again. God. By swearing and lying, yeah, and like killing and stealing, and, and committing adultery, they break out. They break out, and what? And blood touches blood. What does that mean right there? Um, now, you believe in God. You read your Bible. You should be able to tell me what this means. You grew up in the church? No. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I tell you, I grew up in church, but it wasn't like I, 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 I was in Catholic church. So, okay. so when you went to church, were you just kind of like... Yeah, like I was just there sleeping. Okay. 
I was a kid back then, so it's like... But you take God serious now, right? Yes, I definitely okay. So what does it mean? It says, because there's no truth and mercy and knowledge of God in the land, it says they blood break out and blood touch blood. blood. What does that mean? I mean, it's like... The first thing you said about the whole slavery thing, we, we gotta get right, out the road. Down. Read, read that last part, and I'm gonna let you go. Huh. Therefore, shall the land mourn, uh -huh. and every one that dwelleth no, therein from the blood touching the Oh, come. Truth. Start at truth. Come. I'm gonna let you go. I got you. Please. Nor mercy. Bear with me. Nor mercy, nor knowledge of God there's in the no land. Truth, there's no mercy. There's no knowledge of God in the land. Read on. By swearing, by swearing, and lying, uh -huh. and killing, uh -huh. and stealing, uh -huh. and committing adultery. All of that is in our music. All of that is in our community. And I'm gonna show you what happens when that is present in our community. Keep reading. They break out. They break out because of adultery, because of lying and swearing and stealing and killing. Read on. And blood touches blood. Meaning what? People die. Our job is to make sure our people live a long life. Scripture says when you keep the commandments, you prolong your life. But when we don't keep the commandments, it's like we're playing Russian roulette. You might live to 60. You might live to 70. But what type of life are you living? Are you living a life of peace or a life of chaos? People, go ahead, sis. I yeah, I'm sorry. You don't follow the commandments. It's like you doing everything against God. So you basically sin it. Because That's God correct. and sin is like, it's two different things. Like right. They don't get along. And in the Bible, it also says that when you sin, sin brings forth death. So that's exactly, exactly that's what exactly this is what talking that's about. Like, so sis, check that out. This is important stuff, right? Very important. I try to tell, people might say, oh, they, I can just met some dude they had in front of me teaching the Bible. But it's literally, like, if you listen to what we're saying, it can literally save people's lives. People look at the Bible like it's just it's just a book, but yeah. it's, it's more than that. There's power in it. The Psalms, the Proverbs. I was lost, but these laws helped me find my people. And now we meet up every year for Feast of Tabs. All praise to the Most High. I found a way to dwell with my brothers and my sisters. Glory to God. I found what's missing, now I live the scriptures. Used to be in my A. I followed the wind and linked up with my brethren. Forget about the past, follow the cloud that's in front of me and read the blessings. I found a way, I found a way. I found a way, I found a way